whole family. I don't want a hug from you. And no, I don't want a hug from Huggy Wuggy either. He kind of annoys me. I was talking about Peaches, my dog, duh. But actually, Peaches is dead and can't really hear the bell ring. So let me go get him. A few moments later. Bad news, family. Peaches said that he doesn't want to be my Valentine. Everybody thinks that Valentine's Day is so sweet, so kind, so romantic. What? I'm here to tell you that it's not like that, family. And it's actually scarier than you think. Because today, I'm going to be exposing the secrets of Valentine's Day that nobody wants you to know about. And show you the things that nobody wants you to find. Because believe me, family, they get crazy. And stinky. And slimy. Me. Ugh. Anyways, watch the very end of the video to see everything that I'm talking about. Smash like on today's video if you like Valentine's Day. Or smash like on today's video if you like candy. Candy hearts, chocolate hearts, heart-shaped chicken nuggets. Yes, family. That is an acceptable Valentine's Day food. It's called fine fried cuisine. Lovey nuggies. It's shaped in a heart. It counts. If you want to impress your crush on Valentine's Day, you can't go wrong with getting them chocolate. Specifically, a cute cuddly one that's shaped like a bear. Bear hugs? Yes, please. So lover boy gives chocolate bear to lover girl. Everything goes well. That is until she realized that not only are bears furry on the outside, but apparently this bear is furry on the inside too. Cause what the heck is this? Buddy's head is completely snapped off. Kind of rude lover girl, but okay. And he also has a chunk of hair coming out of his neck. Like, bro, you ever hear of a razor? It's Valentine's Day. You gotta clean up and look nice to impress the ladies, you know? Or other men. But I think the only people you're gonna be attracting with that amount of hair is uh, Chewbacca. And who even needs diamond rings when you can get your girlfriend an edible candy that will probably give her a cavity after. And you don't even have to buy her any more gifts after because you'll be at the dentist. Life hack. So this girl thought she was getting the gift of a lifetime until she reached her hand inside of the bag and allegedly found something that wasn't really ring pops. More like a slime pop. Or a juice pop? No, that is not liquid sugar family. I mean, I kind of wish it was. Because it'd be a lot tastier than what we're about to see. Apparently someone was trying to tell this girl that she was a little stinky. Because after she took her hand outside of that bag, her hand was allegedly soaked with Purell. Flippin' hand sanitizer. Like what? I mean, yeah, candy doesn't have the best reputation of being healthy food. But I can assure you that this is not the way to do clean eating. Y'all took it too far. At least the ring pops were okay, though. Mmm. Ooh, I love candy necklaces. I like to wear them. I like to eat them. I like that they have little cute messages on them that make me feel loved. Because y'all know my family hates me. Hmm. I guess this person got a giant pack of them to pass them out to all their friends at school. But then when she opened the package to decide who's gonna get what necklace, she realized that every single one of them are the same. Yeah, that is except one particular one. It's the cursed one. Do y'all see that packet in the middle? What might look like just broken up candies? Those are not broken up candies. Oh, no, no, no. Those are broken up medicine. If you know what I mean, allegedly. Well, actually, one of those looks like a half a piece of Tums. You know, the thing that you eat if your tummy hurts. But don't eat anything, family, without your parents knowing. Ask them first before you have anything, even candy. Especially if you see super sketchy candies like this. That necklace does not just want to be around your neck. It wants to choke your neck. Ugh. Ah, kisses. The thing we all love for Valentine's Day and... <gasps> Wait a sec. I meant that's gross. Obviously. Boys have cooties, I think. Or maybe it's girls. Or maybe it's both and you just gotta stick to yourself. You know, like social distancing? Eh. But anyways, chocolate. Can't go wrong with chocolate. <gasps> Or so we thought. Allegedly, somebody opened up that beautiful silver piece of love and uh, instead of getting a smoochy smooch, they got a pokey poke. Cause allegedly they found a whole flip of needle in there. I can't tell if that's a chocolate kiss or a really odd shaped pear. Or better yet, a prickly pear. Uh, uh. The good thing is the person saw the needle before they took a bite. Girls, that would have been one bloody valentine. Is that a movie? This is a cute dog. And then this is somebody shaking a cute dog because they feel something inside of it. What could it be? Is it a Valentine's Day surprise? Is there bonus candy in there that we didn't know about? Let's find out. Let's see. What is it? It's a... Uh... 
Oh, it's pink. Just like Valentine's Day. Okay. And it's a stick. Oh. <gasps> no. A whole flipping, you know, like, laser out of a puppy. Why? Mr. Puppy Star, did you know about this? Were you trying to hurt us? Or are you just trying to send us a message? I mean, yes, I know I grow a super long beard on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I always try and shave on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Sometimes I just can't keep up. But way to be rude about it. Jeez. And if you're too shy to tell your crush you like them, just hand them this pink soda. Because it says crush on it. But I think this dude might have done a terrible mistake giving it to somebody else because... Look what's floated in the top of it! Is that a worm? A snake. A really long piece of rice noodle. Because if so, I kind of want it. But anyway, spoiler alert, family, it was none of the above. Because after this person was so sketched out by this disgusting drink, they decided to pour it all out into the sink and do their own kind of investigating. What is in the bottom of the bottle, you ask? Oh, you know, nothing important. Just floss that somebody used to clean their teeth. Oh, yeah, and by the way, it's used. Allegedly. So on top of getting the super disgusting, gross, and probably smelly string that they didn't ask for they also got to get chunks of that dude's roast beef sandwich but y'all know that stuff sticks to your teeth like glue Ugh. this is a chocolate flower bouquet yes sir no oh y'all are gonna say yes uh, you wrong look a little closer family no closer no even closer i see one two three chocolates and oh what is that? A red syringe. You know, like the thing that they use to give people medicine when they don't want it? Oh, the cough syrup I didn't want to take as a kid. Ugh, I'm traumatized. What is the red liquid, you might ask? Well, family, I don't know. And I don't think we'll ever know, but to make ourselves feel better between you and me, let's just say it was Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, okay? Kool-Aid. Fruity hearts. I think this is a Valentine's version of Jube Jubes. This person just wanted to have a regular Valentine's Day movie night. So they opened the bag. They got a cute M&M's cup to put it in. And then as they were filling up the cup, they noticed that uh, there's not only Jube Jubes in there. Heart Jube Jubes. Apparently. Allegedly. There's uh, something else that you probably shouldn't eat. Something else that uh can also become red if uh, it's... How do I say this? Used? You know, like girls use them in the bathroom once a month. I don't even want to talk about it. This one is the most cursed we've seen by far. And we're done with this one and moving on to the next. Okay, bye. Okay, this one is just straight up weird. These are those candy cinnamon hearts that make your mouth burn a little when you eat them. Well, apparently now your mouth's not just gonna burn from sucking on the candy. It's also gonna burn if you suck on this rusty door stopper thing that allegedly was found in this candy. Cinnamon heart or cinnamon heart stopper? Cinnamon heart door stopper? I'm confused. I love these chocolate hearts with marshmallows or caramel on the inside. Or sometimes strawberry cream. Yeah, that's my favorite. If y'all want to get me anything for Valentine's Day, um... I didn't say anything. After they broke open the heart, like they literally snapped the heart in two. Like a broken heart. Kind of ironic on Valentine's Day, but okay. They found this. Allegedly. A dirty, rotten band-aid. Because apparently they heard about the broken heart part and they wanted to fix it. I mean, at least they tried though. It was more than my mom ever did for me when I'm sad. And now we have an eight pack of heart-shaped lollipops. Because sometimes instead of telling your crush that she smells like a rotten chicken nugget, probably just keep your mouth shut and start looking on the lolly. A lot safer for that way. So nothing wrong with these lollipops, right, family? Well, you're wrong. All of the lollipop sticks look pretty normal, except if you look at the one in the middle. That one looks a little thicker than the rest of them, doesn't it? And you want to know why that one's thicker than the rest of them? Because flip it over and you have a tooth flosser? Bro, you really trying to camouflage the tooth flosser stick with the lollipop stick? Just because they're both white doesn't mean no one's going to notice. Oh, yeah. And by the way, your teeth must have been very dirty, sir. Because the floss is a highlighter yellow. Like, dude, what are you eating? You drinking Gatorade or toxic sludge? That thing is too bright to be normal. Well, the good news is, is whoever's eating this lollipop, if they get any of it stuck in their teeth, they can always use the floss. But then at that point, you might as well just go to the dentist and ask for a whole new set of teeth because, yeah, I think your mouth's gonna be broken. Or filled with radioactive toxic superworms. One or the two. Ugh. 
If you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.